Dear friends, I am Jeshua. I greet you as a friend and an equal. Feel my love and respect for you. I am with you and reach out my hand to you as a brother who knows the deep emotions you can encounter in earthly life. I understand your doubts, your fears and the discouragement that overcomes you at times when things are not going right, or if things do not turn out as you had expected or hoped. Feel my presence, here and now. I am present on earth, forever connected with you. We are essentially one heart, connected by an energy, a link of love, and by a kindred spirit and unity. As a person on earth, as a personality, you are focused on the reality that you see and experience around you, your three-dimensional body and the input you receive from the world around you. But, also as an earthly human, there runs through you the energy field of your soul, which is much larger and has access to sources of light and knowledge that are much greater and much more far-reaching than the earthly. They include, but reach beyond, the earthly reality. The energy field of your soul runs directly through you, and that field includes knowledge and experience you have gained during other incarnations on earth. Feel that field, it is not far away. Feel that field the presence of your soul as it surrounds you. Your consciousness as a human being on earth is very focused on your outer, everyday life, on certain goals, on concrete things which need to happen, but in order to get in touch with your soul, it is necessary to take a step backward. Imagine that the field of your soul, and everything in it, exists behind you like a loving presence that stands silently with you. The soul does not judge, she takes in everything, incorporates it as wisdom, and then moves on. Your soul is itself connected to a larger whole, with a web of energies, a network of like-minded souls, and you have the capability to feel that. Sense your own body and your earthly personality, feel the person who carries your name. Now feel the presence of your soul behind you and around you. And sense beyond and around that an even larger field of spirit, a cosmic ground of connectedness with other souls. Feel the light that is present in this larger field. Feel its vastness and greatness and be empowered by it. You are not alone on earth. If you release the daily tedium a bit and you take time to become open and create spaciousness for yourself, it then becomes easier to make contact with, and to feel connected to, these larger realities. It then is also easier for you to feel contained within them. I am part of that larger web of energies, of connected souls, in which you are included. You are not alone. It is important to feel this link, because in your soul is the desire to incorporate some of the wisdom that is present in that other, larger field and to manifest it on earth, to channel it, so to speak, so that broader groups of people can share in it. I ask you now to connect quite consciously with this larger field that transcends you, with this web of light in which you live and move and have your being, and that has been known to you from your existence between your incarnations. It is a web or network of connected souls who are involved with the earth and what is happening here, it is a web that is involved with humankind. As soon as you open yourself to this field, you are encouraged to bring it to earth and to share it with others in whatever way possible. Now imagine that you can receive a message from this field. That message flows into your heart in the form of an energy, a word, a color, an image. It does not matter what form it takes only that you are open to receiving a message from that field. Then let that energy course into your abdomen. Even though you do not hear or see anything yet, give permission to this energy to move into your abdomen. Maybe you then see a figure that meets you from a different dimension, a dimension of calm and clarity and gentleness. You can see this figure as a guide. Just see what form it adopts and greet that guide. Feel the warmth and affection it has for you. That figure can be anything, a man, an angel, an animal. Now imagine you are that guide. Enter with your consciousness into that figure and feel from within who that guide is, and how that feels for you. Sense that there is an agreement between you and your guide, you have something in common. A guide lets you see something about yourself. The quality the guide is radiating to you, and that you find as special and of value, is itself what you are developing. You are able to see this quality present in the guide, although in a more mature form, because this gift, this potential, 
is also present within you, that you are developing this quality that is already inherent within yourself. Now take leave of this guide and come all the way back into your body. Feel that you are an inhabitant of two worlds. With your earthly personality, you take part in the world of everyday life, the social reality with all the ideas which are alive in it, and, at the same time, you are part of an atmosphere of being that is very open and free and very different in nature than that of everyday reality. Learning to connect these two worlds together is the art of living. Thus can the light and freedom of the other side the realm of the soul and the larger web of spirit around it enter into your daily life. These are the seeds that are put down into the earth, the seeds that cause new growth and inspiration among humans. Your main task is to connect inwardly with the different levels of being. Then everything begins to flow naturally and spontaneously and you know what you have to do. When I say that you are here to channel light into this world does not mean I want to put you to work, rather, I am pointing to something already emerging. You are already developing that channel, and the more consciously you connect these two worlds, the easier it will be for you to discover who you truly are, and you will know what is joyful to do. It always works best if you express yourself from a stream of joy. Joy is a sign of the good and the true remember this. Do not force yourself into all kinds of shapes trying to bend over backward to fulfill your mission. Just be yourself and follow the natural path of relaxation and joy. That is how spirit and soul work. Then it is an energy that can arrive more fully on earth, the energy of joy and lightheartedness, rather than that of pain and struggle. Thank you so much for your attention. I love you, always.